Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I had an interesting comment in from a viewer regarding the features and the value that Canon DSLRs currently present and what this fear of feels will happen to Canon's business if they don't start um, giving us more value for our money as far as giving us more features. Uh, you know, the, the number one thing here that comes to mind is the lack of 4K in a lot of the cameras and how slow they've been to adopt this, as well as several other features that we're missing in cameras like the 6D Mark II and, uh, and, and in other newer cameras where we were wanting things that we didn't get. Uh, this viewer uh, wrote in, this is uh, YouTube username Fred Pettit. I hope I'm saying that right, Fred. And... Uh, Fred says, maybe the Canon camera department is not as profitable anymore because they do not give us the products we want. I just bought a Panasonic G85 because Canon did not have any products able to compete with the G85 in the same price range. I wanted 4K video, no recording time limit, a mic input, and Canon did not have it in the $1,000 price range. Canon is asking people to drop $500, 1000 or even more for cameras with specs inferior to an iPhone. The only advantage left is interchangeable lenses, but that's it. They should have less camera models, but have models with the specs that we want. They should offer better specs than phones. I can stream live with my phone, but can't with my camera? Why? If manufacturers want people to buy cameras, they need better specs than the iPhone X. They need to move their butt or their business will go down. So, um, interesting thoughts, Fred. Thanks for uh, taking the time to, uh, to comment. I don't disagree with you at all, and I think it's not just Canon doing this. Um, Nikon's been better than Canon as far as giving us more features lower down the chain, but all the manufacturers need to catch up and be uh, more proactive in this because, you know, a lot of for a lot of people now, they don't need a camera anymore in their mind. I'm not saying that's correct, but in their mind, the, the, their cell phone, their iPhone, their Android phone suffices for most of what they need. I know myself, I have an S7 Edge, Samsung S7 Edge, and it's a fantastic phone for um, the camera. It has dual pixel AF on it, which nobody but Canon has right now for cameras. I'm not exactly sure how Samsung was able to get around that for patent-wise, the same name even, uh, but... Canon specifically does leave a lot of things out of their lower end models, especially with 4K video. They're forcing you to go really high up the food chain in order to get into 4K. I think this is going to turn around with the 7D Mark III and hopefully follow it up by the 90D. But they're really taking their time um, and they could have, instead of bleeding off sales, they could have increased sales by putting more value into their products earlier. So I do agree with Fred there. And... Um, I don't think it's a bad suggestion that maybe they should not offer so many DSLRs. You could narrow down the amount of offering, the number of cameras they're offering in DSLRs, and give us some better spec ones even at the lower end. Because I think, you know, pretty much every camera going into the future now from other manufacturers, we're going to see 4K video in it as one example. Uh, so, you know, give us more value for our money, and that will stem the tide of people just deciding to use their iPhones and maybe not buying as many DSLRs. The, um, the feature he's talking about where you can stream live with my phone but not with the camera. Interesting. Why hasn't... I, I'm not sure if any manufacturer has that currently in a camera. Uh, I'll have to double check that. But that's something that probably everyone should have. There shouldn't really be anything that your smartphone can do camera-wise. Make that, that very... Um, important distinction, camera-wise. There's nothing your cell phone, your smartphone should be able to do that your current new camera from Canon or from Nikon or from Panasonic or from whoever can't do. Because if there is, that's the camera company falling behind, dropping the ball, not keeping up with what a camera in a, in a cell phone can do. And that would be part of why they're bleeding off sales to people just using their cell phones and, re and thinking, I don't need a camera. I don't need to carry a separate camera anymore because my cell phone will do as good or even better in some situations like live streaming than a lot of um, separate dedicated cameras will do. So interesting thoughts from Fred. What do you guys think? Do you agree with what Fred said here, what I've added to it? Do you think that that is, uh, especially in Canon's case, I think, is they're one of the worst companies for not packing a lot of features further down the line. They strip them out and it's, they're forcing you to pay up. 
Uh, all companies do this to a degree, but I think Canon's worse than others. If you disagree, let me know. Keep it civil. Um, but I think all of them need to to watch this, and especially Canon. Uh, you know, I'd like to see Canon take pole position again. I'd like to see them have the best sensor out there. I'd like to see them be the best performing camera on a lot of these. I'm really hoping the 90D and the 7D Mark III will knock our socks off, but we'll see. What do you think what Fred had to say? What do you think of my uh, discussion on Fred's comments, the things I've added here? Let me know in the comments below. Let's flush it out a little. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again for your comment, Fred, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.